Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hey guys, welcome to the galley. I would love to personally invite you to learn how to cook big in small places with Lisa's Ladle. This season we are whipping up some fabulous dishes. We're going to start with some Mexican flair, prepare little mini meatloaves, and we're also going to try our hand at a no-bake oatmeal cookie. <laughs> They're really divine. I'm laughing because Sophia is right behind me. But much, much more. We have lots of recipes in store for this season. Hey everyone, welcome to season one, episode one of Lisa's Ladle. I am really excited that you're here with me and that you're going to follow me on this journey as we learn how to cook and grow and make really tasty, delicious meals together. Today I'm going to, for season one, I'm going to be making French toast roll-ups. So it's basically cinnamon French toast with sausage stuffed in the middle and then you dip it in syrup and talk about a really handy dandy treat to have when you're doing those long night passages. For today's recipe for the French toast roll-ups, we're going to be using two eggs, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of milk. And this is going to be our dip that we're going to dip our bread in. So let's get started, guys. Crack those eggs. So we're going to add the two eggs, one tablespoon of milk. Actually, it's three tablespoons of milk. One tablespoon at a time. When you're out on any ocean passages or if you're at a marina, or anchored. Sometimes you have a availability to mm -hmm. certain supplies and sometimes you don't. So for today's recipe, when we actually start making the French toast and we already have the sausage cooked, usually we use um, a tablespoon of unsalted butter before I put it in there, but I didn't have it available here, so I'm gonna use Crisco. That's what our, my parents, maybe your grandparents used back in the day. So I'm going to add the teaspoon of cinnamon. This gives us some yummy flavor. Oh, guys, I got to mention, these are wonderful spice holders. If you take a look at my spice rack here, this is brand new for Unwritten Timelines Boat Galley. Oh, my gosh. I love these things. They're awesome. Maybe my husband will put a link at the bottom at the end of this video if you're interested in getting uh, one or two. These, and they come in different sizes also, but they're fantastic. So we have one teaspoon of cinnamon. We already added our eggs and our milk. And then a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. The pure vanilla is going to give it a little bit of that sweetness with that cinnamon. And whisk. I like to make this ahead of time, and then I'll put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge while I cut up my bread. You just want to make sure you get all the cinnamon mixed in with the egg, the milk, the vanilla, so you get those nice yummy flavors. For this recipe, I'm using eight slices, and when you're looking at your bread, you want the flat top, you don't want the round top. You can use either whatever is available. Uh, you just cut more bread off with a round top. This, you don't cut off as much crust and you have a little bit more bread. So you just cut the crust off. And this is going to be our blanket for our little sausages. Once you have the crust removed from your bread, you're going to take your rolling pin and roll them nice and flat. Rolling, 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 raw high. Didn't know you were going to be serenaded on a cooking channel, did ya? Flatten my end there. So the bread and the bread mix for the French toast is all prepared. Now what we're going to do is cook our sausages. I'm only making eight little blankets today, so I'm just going to cook eight pieces of sausage. If you have more than eight, which normally you do, you can go ahead and cook them all at once if you like. I have a gas propane stove on Unwritten Timeline and I'm going to use about medium, medium high heat. As the sausage is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my station a little bit. That way I can, put, as soon as the sausage is done, I can pull that as, as, um, out of the skillet, set it aside, and start doing the bread. 
If you're living on a boat or you're cruising on a boat, you know how limited space is. So I'm using the lid from the egg wash container for the French toast dip to put the sausage on that we're going to set aside. And I've tried this both ways. I've tried cooking the French toast in the sausage grease because I thought, oh, that's going to give some yummy flavor to the French toast dips. But it does not. Don't do it. So I have ceramic pans here wipe it out or wash your pan make sure it's nice and clean and dry and this is where you would use your one tablespoon of unsalted butter but if you don't have that one tablespoon of unsalted butter go old school and use your Crisco man I'm gonna use a tablespoon of Crisco and for this we want to use medium heat be, you want to be careful because with the bread being thin, it can actually pull apart on you. You just place your sausage on one end, push down a little bit, and roll. When you get to the other end, pinch it down just to hold it in place and set it in your skillet. This is the messy work part of the French toast roll-ups. But these are so yummy, it's so worth it like to add a note I love cinnamon so a, ta a tablespoon of cinnamon is actually kind of a lot you can do a half a tablespoon if you're not a, a huge cinnamon fan you can always make make this recipe yours add a little more vanilla a little less cinnamon whatever works for you you want to put these in the skillet with the seam side down We have our French toast roll-ups in the skillet on medium heat. You want to cook each side about two minutes. And that is all four sides. Once it gets nice and golden brown and crispy, mm, then you want to do your flip. Guys, how yummy does that look? So you want that nice golden brown texture. And then once you do the flip, you want to wait anywhere from one to two minutes. Again, you want it to get golden on all sides. Break, I'm going to break these apart. I had them nice and tight in the skillet here to hold each other up. So just remember, you want to clean your skillet. Don't cook your French toast roll-ups in the grease from the sausage doesn't turn out. I've tried it twice and it didn't turn out either time. So clean your skillet. And another tip is if you want, it doesn't have to be sausage. You could do cream cheese with cherry pie filling. You could do apples and peanut, or yeah, apples and peanut butter. Apples and cinnamon. You could do peanut butter and banana. I mean, the world's your oyster. Come on guys, let's get cooking. Mmm, that smells so good. And we're going to flip to our last side. Today's recipe was the French toast roll-ups. It took us about 45 minutes from start to finish. It serves four all together, so you get two delicious links all to yourself. You can do it with a little bit of syrup. You can also add some powdered sugar if you like. That's all to your preference. Uh, I really enjoyed cooking with you all today. I'm learning how to cook at big and small places. If you have any suggestions, please, please, please give me the comments down below. I need them. Um, I really had fun today. I hope you had fun. Tune in next time to see what we're going to be cooking up. And thanks a lot, guys. I really, really enjoyed having you here aboard the Unwritten Timeline Boat Galley.